Given how easy it is to blow seeds away, you'd think that dandelion seed heads are quite delicate and certainly wouldn't survive a good dunk in a glass of water, right? So let's see what happens. Surprisingly, the dandelion seed head will come out completely dry. Dandelion seed heads, also known as blow balls, are made up of numerous individual seeds called achenes, each connected to a fluffy structure called the pappus. The pappus consists of fine hair-like filaments that create a dense umbrella-like arrangement. This unique structure plays a crucial role in the dandelion's ability to stay dry. So when we place the dandelion seed head in water, the pappus traps air between its filaments, forming a protective barrier. That prevents water from reaching the seeds. The trapped air creates a protective layer that maintains the seed head's buoyancy and dryness. But that's not the only secret weapon these amazing plants have. Dandelion seed heads are also coated with a thin layer of waxy substances that make them hydrophobic or water repellent. This causes water droplets to bead up on the surface and roll off instead of being absorbed. So the combination of the pappus structure and the hydrophobic coating allows dandelion seed heads to stay dry even when exposed to water. This is crucial for their survival and dispersal as it helps them float on air currents and travel long distances to colonize new habitats. It's a really easy experiment for you to try for yourself. It's great to do with children. All you need is a glass of water and a dandelion that's gone to seed, which we call a dandelion clock. You simply lower a dandelion clock into the water and watch what happens. And there you have it. Incredible world of dandelions and their amazing ability to stay dry in water. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into nature's wonders. Let me know in the comments what other stories you'd like me to find out about and explain, and I'll be back soon with another science story. I hope to see you then. Thank you for your time.